Good morning, mathematicians. Today is April 21st, 2020. We will be learning time to the hour using a digital clock. Our lesson objective is I can tell and write time to the hour using a digital clock. All right, boys and girls, this is our warm up of the day. Ready? Write a number sentence to solve the problem. Miguel ate six of his carrot sticks for lunch. He gave four to Rayleigh. How many carrot sticks did they eat all together? 30 seconds to solve. Go ahead and start now. And stop. Okay, let's go ahead and check. So they were eating them and we the carrots and we want to know how many they ate all together. We know that that means that we're going to be adding. So you should have six plus four equals ten. Nice job. Let's move on. What time does the clock show? Is it four o'clock, five o'clock? six o'clock or seven o'clock yes seven o'clock so today we're going to be learning about the digital clock what difference do you see between the clock that is shown on the screen and the analog clock which we learned about yesterday You're right, this clock doesn't have any hands. It doesn't have an hour hand or a minute hand. Instead, what does it have? It has numbers, right? So when we're looking at a digital clock, we know that the first number tells us the hour. The next numbers tell us the minutes. So anytime we see zero, zero, we read it as a clock. So the time shown here is 12 o'clock. Let's practice. Queen leaves the house and returns at the time shown. Write the time on the digital clock. Yesterday we learned that in order to read an analog clock, we need to look at the hour hand and the minute hand. Let's look at the orange clock first. Where is the hour hand pointing? 12. Where is the minute hand pointing to? 12. So we know that when the minute hand points to 12, we say it's a clock. So we know that the hour hand is pointing to the 12, so it's 12 o'clock. Now let's look at the green clock. Where is the hour hand pointing to? Nine. And the minute hand? To 12. So how do we read the time shown on the green clock? Nine for the hour hand, very good. And zero, zero for a clock. So what time does it show? It shows nine o'clock. Now when we see digital clocks, many times, or not just digital clocks, but anytime we see the time written in this way, we're going to see a.m. Or we're going to see p.m. A.m. means before midday, which we say in the morning, right? So if it's 9 in the morning, because there's no way to tell him just by looking at the number itself, right? 9 o'clock, but we don't know if it's a.m. in the morning or in the afternoon. 
So if we want to say it's in the morning, we would put a.m. right after it. Then in the afternoon or at night, which means after midday, we would put p.m. So if we see a nine o'clock followed by p.m., that lets us know that it's at nighttime. And when we see nine o'clock a.m., that lets us know that it's in the morning. Whenever we see 12 o'clock and we see p.m., that means it's in the afternoon. That would be our midday. That is when it changes from a.m. to p.m., right? If we see 12 o'clock a.m., that means it's midnight, right? Right in the morning when the day starts all over again, we see a.m., Okay, so now you know a.m. it's for the morning, p.m. it's for afternoon or night. Now let's look at these two clocks. The first clock is showing us four o'clock. It says that a store opens at the time shown. Write the time on the digital clock. The store closes two hours later. Draw the hands on the analog clock. Write the time on the digital clock. So what do we know? We know that the store opens at 4 o'clock and that the store closes two hours later. So in order to find out, we have to start with 4. That's when it opens. And I'm going to count forward. two times because it opens two hours later. So we're gonna go from four, five, that's one hour, six, that's two hours, so I'm stopping here. So what time does the store close this? At six o'clock. How do we write that in the digital clock? Six, Colon, this is, we call this a colon, six colon, zero, zero, six o'clock. So let's draw the hands on the orange clock. Where is the hour hand going to point to? The six, right? It has to be a short hand. Where is the minute hand going to point to? zero zero right i mean 12 which is zero zero so both clocks right here the orange analog clock and the orange digital clock are showing six o'clock the purple clocks the analog and the digital are both showing four o'clock i'm going to ask you to turn to page 596 in your math book Okay. You're going to have 30 seconds to answer numbers 1 through 4. Ready? And start. Ten seconds left. And stop. Okay, let's go ahead and check our work. So what time is the purple analog clock showing? Okay, the little hand, the red hand, the hour hand is pointing to the 11 and the minute hand is pointing to the 12. So what time is it showing? 11 o'clock. So in your math book, you should have written 11 o'clock. The yellow clock, the analog clock, is showing six o'clock. So in your book, you should have six o'clock. Remember, the hour hand is the first number. And the hour hand is the red 
the red hand right here, okay? Number three, the orange clock is pointing to 12. My hour hand is pointing to 12 and my minute hand is also pointing to 12. So that means it's 12 o'clock. The green analog clock, the hour hand is pointing to the three, the minute hand is pointing to the 12. So that tells me it's three o'clock. Really nice job, mathematician. So before we move on, let's think. How is reading an analog clock the same as reading a digital clock? So both clocks are telling time. The difference is that the analog clock is using hands, the hour hand and the minute hand, and the digital clock is using numbers. So how are they the same? The same they're the same because we both read the hour and the minutes, right, with both clocks. Now go to page 598 and look at problem 11. We're going to solve this problem together. So it says, all right, mathematicians, go ahead and turn to page 598 in your math book, and we're going to solve number 11 together. So let's read it. Rachel goes to the cafeteria to eat at 11 o'clock. She is there for one hour. What time does she leave the cafeteria? Okay, so we know that the problem is about Rachel and we know that she's at the cafeteria. What time does she go to the cafeteria? At 11 o'clock, right? Then, Let's read it one more time to see what else do we know about Rachel. Rachel goes to the cafeteria to eat at 11 o'clock. She is there for one hour. What time does she leave the cafeteria? Mm, so what else do we know about Rachel? She is going to be there for one hour. Hmm. So what is the question? What are we trying to find? What time does she leave the cafeteria? Hmm, let's think. So if she's there at 11 and she's going to be there for one hour, I'm going, I'm going to think 11 plus one more hour. So 11, what comes after 11? 12, so she will be leaving the cafeteria at 12 o'clock. Now when the now in the yellow digital clock, go ahead and write 12 o'clock. Excellent job, mathematicians. On that same page in the very bottom, it says, explain how a digital clock shows time. So think about what we've learned today about a digital clock. How does it tell time? Or how does it show time? Okay. A digital clock shows time using numbers for the hour and the minutes. Right, so you could go ahead and write this sentence or you could write your own that explains how a digital clock shows time. Now on your own, you're going to go back to your math book and you're going to finish all the problems in pages 595 to 600, okay? When you're finished, you're going to ask an adult to check your work and then send me a message to let me know that you're done. All right, mathematicians, awesome job. We now know how to tell time and write time to the hour using an analog clock and a digital clock. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.